Hello guys, if I here and today I'll be showing you a couple things. I'll be showing you how to make a custom texture pack, how to animate textures, and how to do some simple image editing with paint.net. Now the programs you'll need for, um, to do this are 7-zip file manager and paint.net. Now let's get started. Type percent app data. This will take you to your .minecraft folder. Double click that. Next you find the bin folder. Double click that. Minecraft.jar. Right click this. Open with 7-zip file manager. It's a free program. Okay, from here we will make a new folder on your desktop. New folder. Let's name this folder New Texture Pack. Just for example, I mean, yeah, just for an example. Now we'll hit Control A, extract everything. Control A um, highlights everything. We will find this folder on our desktop here. Um, new Texture Pack. Okay. Okay, extract everything into there. Next, we will just close that. Now, we hit on this window um, in the Minecraft bin, hit back two times. This is back in percent app data. I mean, just hit back once. Okay, we'll go to the texture packs folder, take the new folder, paste it in there. This will just make it easier to like edit the texture and see the changes when you play Minecraft. Now, we'll go in here. And basically, from here, we can take any um, first we have to remove a couple folders. We'll remove the COM folder, hold control to select multiple folders, left click on lang, meta inf, net and pulse code. We'll hit delete. Yep, we don't need those. Next you type dot class in the search bar. Control A to highlight everything and delete. And boom, that should be done pretty fast. Okay, now we don't need font.txt, we just delete that. And here we are set up to start editing our textures. I guess we'll start off in textures. This is where all the blocks and items are. We'll just find a sword for starters. This is a nice example. We'll just edit the iron sword because I can show everything. Oh, whoops. whoops. Okay, uh, right click, open with. Right click, open with paint.net. I'll bring this folder down, uh, zoom in a bit. Okay, from here, we'll go window, um, we need the colors window. Alright, now to start with paint.net, I will show you how to delete certain pixels and add, pix and add pixels. Add pixels, you take a pencil tool or brush tool, you can just add something there. Now, when deleting pixels, there's no individual pixel deletion. If you click there, it'll do this weird transparency thing up here, and we don't want that. So I'll just hit Control z a couple times. Now I'll take the Select tool, just select everything you want to delete, and delete it. Now here I'll show you how to colorize something. Like if we want to change this sword to say a red blade, we will select the whole blade, and then we can start editing that. Now to remove um, areas from your selected area, you hold Alt and, and you'll see this little negative cursor pop up. Everything you highlight while holding Alt will remove it from your um, s selected area. It's pretty useful. Now there's another way to select an area. You can use the magic select tool. The tolerance will make it select how much you're going to actually select with it. As you can see, on a low tolerance level, it's hard, and then on a higher tolerance level, it picks up more stuff. Now, you just click on the main area, and get a. make sure you select all the other ones too. You'll hold control to add more. As you can see, the little plus sign pops up on the cursor. Now, um, to change the blade's color, you should go to hue saturation, but this will not really change anything because the blade as you can see has no color value so you can't shift the color. To fix this we'll take a brush tool we'll make it red I guess just just cuz select a low transparency and a high brush size and you just click on the blade somewhere just like click in the center it's fine. Now we have some color to work with go to the hue saturation slider we can change it to any color we like 
increase the saturation to increase the strength of the color and the brightness to increase how bright it is of course we'll go with a red blade I guess get a nice color there I think that looks okay alright boom that's that's good for starters oh, whoops. well that was pretty cool you can just take the uh, brush tool add more color if you want like that all right. Now I'll show you how to animate a texture. What we'll do is take um, image canvas size. Make sure maintain aspect ratio is unchecked. Now we take this by a multiple of four. We will take um, 16 times 4 is 64. So here we go. It has made a much taller um, image. So what we'll take, we'll take the sword, copy paste it, we'll copy paste it again, and now we have four frames to work with. Now what I'll do here is take the last frame, and I will colorize the blade, and we'll make it, we'll make the blade, let's say, let's make it blue. Now on all the other blades, I will do something different. I'll take this portion of the blade, keep it red, and this one I'll take this portion of the blade, and I'll make that blue. And this portion of the blade, I'll make most of it blue. And here we have it. We have a sword that will kind of look really strange. Okay, I'll save. Now to animate the texture, we will have to open up the folder that it's in. That would be here. Let's go find the sword. Sword should be under S. Did I miss it? Okay, here. As you can see, I have iron, my iron sword. Next to it, we'll create a new text folder. I mean, text document. We'll name it rename, right click rename iron sword and eh, whoops what the oh it's sword iron not iron sword make sure you name it exactly the right name there sword iron now it's right next to that open up that this is frame 0 this is frame 1 this is frame 2, and this is frame 3. Now the order in which you... Okay, what we'll do is take the text document. Now the order you put in here will determine the order in which the frames show up on the actual item in-game. So we'll do frame 0 first, frame 1, frame 2, frame 3. Then to have it retract, like the color, we'll have it do it in reverse. Alright, save that up. Now I'll show you how it looks in game. All right, we're in game, and as you can see, I have it playing the animation exactly how I set it. It's playing it forwards and then in, and then in reverse. But as you can see, it's playing this very quickly. So I need to drink some water. My throat's a little dry. Okay, I'll go back to um the text document now to show you what else you can do. All right, we're back here with the text document. Now I'll show you how to slow it down. To slow it down, you have to add an asterisk and then a number value. This will this number will determine how much it's slowed down by. So we'll put 20 on each frame that it's slowing down by. So we'll just do that to every frame. Now you can change the speed for every individual frame. So I could put like say 5 here, it'll slow it down by a bit just for that frame, but we'll not do that for this. We'll just change it to 20 for each frame. That 20 is quite a big slowdown, I think. Alright, let's see how it looks in game. Save that. Alright, we're back in game, and as you can see, the texture is now going much more slowly on the animation. Yup. So that worked out perfectly fine. And now, you can do this with any item, any block. It's quite versatile, actually. Now, uh, thanks for watching this tutorial, I hope it helps you, and see you next time.